Hey guys, this is Serial Gaming here. Welcome back to my channel. And today we will be talking about another episode of the Sega Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. And right now, our focuses for the topic today will be Garnet with her new shiny BT Plus. And we will also be talking about the rework and the Crystal Level 90 that she will be getting. So let's start. Okay, so she will be getting a rework on her skill 1, her skill 2, and her LD. But the only rework that she will be getting is improving her damage overall. Her skill 1 now does a 6 water AoE bravery attack plus split HP attack dealt by 2 times and now batteries the entire party including herself based on 50% of the HP damage dealt on the last attack and her skill 2 is a 6 thunder AoE bravery plus split, uh, split HP attack dealt by 3 times Her LD will now deal 5 AoE bravery attack plus split HP attack dealt by 4 times and this also improve her follow up attack which will now deal uh, 5 AoE Bravery plus 4 HP, uh, AoE HP attack, that by 3 times. So basically her reward will just involve a lot of new HP dumps. She now has extra H uh, HP dumps on skill 1, 2 more on skill 2, and a lot more on her follow up and her LD. As for her crystal level 90, she improved her EX buff right now. She provides an additional of 40% attack up and 10% HP damage up in her EX buff. And if you're in her water stance, you'll gain another additional 10% brave gain up. And if you're in her thunder stand, you'll gain 20% brave damage up instead to the entire party. Her additional ability also gained the extra benefit of now being extended up to 7 turns. And it provides 40% party bravery regen based on the, based on the uh, initial bravery. 10% party brave gain up as well as 10% party gain max bravery overflow up. So this actually helps Garnet solidify herself more as a secondary damage dealer while also doing very good, very good buff. Okay, so enough of those. We'll be looking next in her new Global Force uh, BT effect. So from what you can see from this slide here, her BT effect is now a 8 turn BT effect which will provide a 30% uh, party bravery gain, 30% HP damage uh, limit up, 50% attack up, 50% initial bravery up, 50% bravery damage up, and 20% HP damage up as well as 30% overflow gain. And lastly, it also provides a bravery refund of 30% based on the total amount of HP damage dealt at the end of the turn. This last part is really, uh, really interesting. It means that Garnet now provides the party refund to the entire party a little bit, like Bards and Fyrid in this case. So right now, I think Garnet is actually very awesome, honestly. The green highlighted effect is actually obtained when you max limit break her BT weapon. So I believe that that's the differences between the BT and the BT+. Plus. Another unique particular thing to look at is that Garden now has a BT effect expiration attack, which is similar to Ace for those who doesn't remember. This attack is a 5 hit uh, AoE magic bravery plus uh, full HP attack dealt by 4 times. This attack also removed the party debuff as well as granting them bravery based on 100% of their own max bravery with a 200% overflow. So basically the entire party will be fully battery in this case. And the party will also be granted a very interesting gold frame buff. Right now we're gonna have gold frame buff instead of silver frame buff. It's, it's her gold frame buff, the first gold frame buff that we will be getting. I'm not really sure, please let me know now in the comments if I'm missing any unit that have gold frame buff. So surprisingly, this buff works almost exactly the same as her BT effect buff. So the only dissimilar about these two effects is one doesn't have the brave gain up by 30%. But other than that, it's all similar. So this means that the part, the buff that Garnet provide in her BT effect will last for 8 Garnet turns and 6 party turns. What's more interesting is you can actually combine two of the target if you have a BT plus Garnet. For example, you can use your BT plus first and then enter into BT phase while having 6 turns of your BT plus effect. By doing so, you can actually have the BT plus expired way faster than you want them to and then have the uh, buff triggered during the BT phase. This will allow the entire party to actually have the double effect. Sadly though, this buff cannot be extended so I cannot actually fully abuse this with units like Squall that extend their own buff but it's alright. I think if if it is being able to extend, it's actually going to be really broken to pair her with them. But other than that, I think, yeah, 
this is actually a very interesting combo. Imagine two of the buff, you'll be increasing your attack by 100%, increasing your initial bravery by 100% as well, increasing the bravery damage dealt by 100%, as well as increase 40% of the HP damage dealt. She will also be getting the 60% overflow gain bravery as well as 60% refund based off the total HP damage dealt at the end of party's turn. So from what the video of her showcast show, you can see that there's a huge chunk of bravery regeneration at the start of the party's turn. So this is only possible because the, both, the combination of both her BT and her EX effect. If you recall what I mentioned about her EX buff increasing, during the start of the video is that right now she gave off the bravery regen based off the initial bravery and her BT effect allows a increasing of 100% initial bravery combined with the gold frame buff so this actually allows the entire party to have a very big boost uh, bravery gain at the start of their turn so Garnet herself doesn't change too much on her side as being both a supportive of turn damage dealer for those who never used Garnet before, she actually can deal very decent damage with her off turn effect so you want to pair her with units that can turn Hawk a lot to abuse that effect. For example, Ursula, Lightning or Terra etc etc. But what I'm more concerned right now is whether her, her entire BT plus effect will be that broken throughout the entire phase before Ramza. But I'm not really too concerned about this because like what I said before, we are in the era where using units are mostly on favorites rather than meta because everyone is hitting good numbers right now. Anyway, like I mentioned, Garnet getting her C uh, Crystal Level 90 rework this early is not going to be breaking any content, but her BT effect is looking really uh, solid. So I'm actually very interested to run her out and see how we can get her uh, to deal absolutely bonkers damage with the entire party. But for now, yes, I think I'm looking forward to her BT, which will be released, like I said, in less than an hour. So thank you again, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video where we will be running Garnet and the entire anniversary banner with the Abyss uh, stage. All right, cheers, guys. Thank you again.